All right, guys, your boy D'Anthony coming back at you. We're going to start this new segment on our Break Room Bliss page. We're going to call it Toy Box, um, which pretty much is going to be unboxing of any type of toys, figures, electronics, things like that. I buy a lot of stuff, uh, especially since I've actually started working here. Um, they've pretty much turned me into a figure geek. Um, so it was suggested that we actually do some unboxing of some of these, and I thought that was a pretty good idea. Um, and I just bought some Suicide Squad stuff uh, a couple weeks ago and thought maybe you guys might want to see. Uh, I think it's actually the the box looks really nice actually. I'm, I'm, it looks really pretty. It's not like just something that they're just shipping it in. This is like something that it actually has like angles. You probably can't see that on the camera but it's angled like it's, it's made to like sit. It has a wider base than what it has at the top. Um, it may look really pretty. Got a little picture of Deadshot there. Oh, yeah, we're doing on Deadshot if you didn't see. But uh, it's by uh, Metal's Diecast. Um, so these are metal figures in here. Mostly metal, anyway. There are some plastic parts, but uh, are some metal. Uh, we got M21. So if you go in the back, let you see, like, the, um, I guess, the model that you got or what number we have and that's the one I got I got a, another one I haven't seen that one online yet if I do see it I might get it but um, looks kinda cool um, I actually have uh, Killer Croc Deadshot Joker and I got some Batman and Superman and, um, so I don't have everything but uh, I did one Deadshot since um, he was actually African American I thought maybe I would just go ahead and buy him um, and I think Will Smith did actually a really good job, um, I would say. Um, his, his his max was actually one of the coolest that I've ever saw, actually. So if you know anything anything about Deadshot, um, he was pretty much created, or you can find him in the uh, Batman 59 issue of the comic books back in 1950. So he's not a new um, comic book character, uh, but... Um, he does have like some, uh, he just kind of, he has some new, newer technology. When he first came out, uh, he had like some tuxedo on. Uh, I'm glad that they changed it into his, you know, his new costume here because that tuxedo was, that was whack. So, uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, his real name is Floyd. I don't know his last name, but, uh, I'm sure it's in there. Uh, real name is Floyd. Uh, he's an assassin. He pretty much doesn't miss his target at, at any point. Um, his background is he grew up in a, uh, kind of a abusive family. His, uh, he, his mom actually tried to convince his brother to kill his dad, you know, for being so abusive. And Deadshot didn't want him to, uh, kill his dad, so he tried to shoot, which is funny, he tried to shoot the pistol out of his brother's hand. Um, and missed and shot his brother in the head and killed him. So, he's pretty deranged, pretty messed up from that. There's some other historical things about him, um, but that just kind of stood out the most, and that's kind of how he just kind of spiraled into being dead shot, because he said after killing his brother, he never wanted to uh, miss another shot again. So, I thought that was kind of interesting. You know, they have some pretty interesting backstories. I think that's the thing about uh, DC and... Uh, Marvel is they actually put a lot of thought into uh, the backstories of these characters. Um, I would have never never thought to even do any of that, so I appreciate the quality of uh, writing that they do for it. Um, all right, well, I think let's just get into this whole little box opening here and see, you know, quality of the actual uh, toy or figure here. Uh, let's see, what can I open this with? Oh. Uh, I'm gonna do it with my hands. Nope, can't do it with my hands. Oh, there we go. Boom. Got them sharp nails, y'all. Let's see. It's my first time ever opening it, so I've had it sitting here for a couple weeks since I was able to do the actual video. Um, I actually saw the movie before I even got to look at any of these figures, really. Um, I went out of town, which is why I didn't do the review. Oh, if you guys don't watch the reviews, you definitely should check out our our reviews that we do on these movies. Um, put a lot of work into it. We actually have a nice little skit 
Uh, I think you guys might like um, before all of our movie reviews. Um, at least you'll laugh, if, if anything. Um, but, so, inside, just a regular cardboard, looks like. Hoping I can put this back, because I definitely want to keep it in the box. Oh, of course, it comes out at, at a... Huh. Can't just tear it or pull it out, I guess. So, let's keep opening up some tape. Get some of these notches out here. Man. Alright, so it's definitely not the easiest to open up. I guess maybe I'm just trying to be careful because I don't want to mess up anything. This is going right back in the box. And like I said, the box is it's beautiful, actually. Best packaging I have, anyway. So then it's still in this little plastic here. Let's see if we can just pull them out. Maybe there's something on the back. I gotta keep opening it. Man. Let's see, maybe he's hooked on the back there. I hope he is as I'm doing all this opening. I hope it's not for nothing. Man, I got this super taped up. Yeah, I think it's kind of just kind of designed to just be in the box. Um, and I think that's cool. I have some other figures that, you know, the box, the packaging just looks really cheap, really cheesy. And it's like, well, no need to keep it in the box. It's probably not going to stay. I'm going to have a knife for you guys next time because this tape is really... All right, so let's see. Anything in... Oh, he is tied. Tied in the back. That's what I thought. I'm, I'm like, I'm pretty strong. I should be able to just pull this thing out. But... Sometimes I'll know my own strength, so I want to be a little careful. And I'm glad that I did. Come on. Alright, we tying things in knots now, I guess. It's definitely not necessary. Ah, jeez. Man, they're like, this, they don't want this thing to come out at all. The other ones I've done, uh, they just kind of pull out the plastic without any problems. Alright, here we go. We're getting it, guys. We're getting it. Alright. Now let's do a nice little hug. And there we are. Boom. Alright, it's pretty heavy. It's nice, nice and solid. Uh, colors are really nice, I would say. I think the paint job was really, really nice. I think he has some of the best plot, or, I'm sorry, I think he has some of the best, uh, he has one of the best masks I've ever seen, actually. I think it's kind of cool. He has his, uh, trusty rifle on the back. Now this most, this looks more like a, uh, I guess a semi-automatic. It doesn't seem like a, like a sniper rifle, but... He should have a sniper rifle. I guess in the movie he didn't. In the movie, did he? No, I don't think the movie he did. He had a automatic machine gun, I guess. I'm not. I'm not a gun guy, so I'm not sure this is what this is. But it looks like one of the ones that they usually carry around. Has his uh, guns on this on his wrist there, which is kind of cool. He used those in the movie. I wish he would have used them a lot more, um, but. That just kind of just shows his expertise with his marksmanship, um, but I think it's pretty, pretty solid. About four inches tall. You know, these are not, you know, not six-inch figures or anything like that. I haven't, I haven't upgraded to those, but you know, even with the little ones, you kind of still get the effect. You know, like this is dead shot. You know, so I think the paint job is pretty good. Uh, I'm not really sure why his knees are maybe a different color than the rest of his suit, but maybe he uh, got dressed in the dark or something and realized that the color doesn't match. I don't know if you guys can see that there. But you still get the effect, you know. Um, this is a dead shot. I'm nitpicking with these here, though, but... 
All right, so I have my trusty Thin here. You guys can see a comparison. This is one of those uh, Fun Pops uh, characters. They're about the same. Now this is he's on the platform, but he's about the, not around the same height. So they are kind of small. Um, these are mostly I would probably say collectibles. I wouldn't probably buy this for a child. Um, I think on the box it says something about that too. Something about kids, like under three or something like that. I'm like, well, under three, they're not going to kill us. So, oh, warning, not suitable for children under 36 months. So, all right, year and a half. I mean, they can still play with it. I mean, they're going to just throw it and probably ding it up or whatever. This is mostly, like, maybe for, like, a teenager that likes to collect stuff. Um, it doesn't move. You know, it's pretty stationary. It's a statue. Um, but, I mean, they can still play with it, I guess, you know, but this is more like for the collectibles, you know, so. Alright, that's my Deadshot box opening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, take a, take a look at our, um, re movie reviews section. You know, we can always use the help and support. Um, help. <laughs> um, but you know what I mean. I'll always use your support, subscribe, you know, if you guys want some other unboxing, just let me know. I have, I have a bunch more to do, so, um, just keep an eye out. Alright, well, I'm DeAnthony. This is my Deadshot box opening review. Thank you.